In second problem, they said that show that tan 48, tan 16, tan 42, tan 74 will give us 1. So, to showing that it, it's equal to 1, let's take LHS. So, what is LHS? LHS is tan 48, tan 16, tan 42, tan 74. Next, now we will subtract this 48 from 90. So, 90 minus 48, that will give us 10 minus 8 is 2 and 8 minus 4 is 4. So, 42. 90 minus 48 is 42. So, and next, if we subtract 16 from 16 from 90, what it will be? So, 90 minus 16 is 10 minus 6 is 4, 8 minus 1 is 7. So, 74. That is this one and 16. If we subtract 9, 16 from 90, it gives us 74. Let's write that. Tan 48 tan 16. So, when do we get 42? If it is 90 minus 42 can be written as 90 minus 48. Tan 74 can be written as 90 minus 16. So, 90 minus 16. Then next, tan 48 tan 16. On 90, tan changes to cot. So, cot 48. The next, on 90, tan changes to cot. So, cot 16. The next, we know that tan and cot both are reciprocal to each other. So, for tan theta, we can write 1 by cot theta. Tan 48, tan 16, 1 by tan 48, 1 by tan 16. Then next we can cancel this tan 48, tan 48, 1 sir, tan 16, tan 16, 1 sir. So 1, 1 sir, 1. In second bit, they said that cos 36 into cos 54 minus sin 36 into sin 54 is, will give us 0. So, to, for getting the value 0, let us take LHS. So, what is LHS? Given LHS is cos 36 and cos 54 minus sin 36 sin 54. If we subtract 36 from 90, we will get so 90 minus 36. So 10 minus 6 is 4 and 8 minus 3 is 5. And similarly, if we subtract 54 from 90, we will get 36. So in place of 36, we can write cos 90 minus 54. Why? Because if we subtract this, we will get 36. Next, cos to get 54, we can write 90 minus 36 minus sine 36 sine 54. On 90, cos will change to sine. So, sine 54 and sine 36 minus sine 36 sine 54. Here, if we see 1, 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 3 is a 6 and 3, 2 is a 6. Means, if we are multiplying sin 54 into sin 36 will give us the same answer when we multiply sin 36 into sin 54. So, this both will get cancelled and we will get 0.